Hello, everybody, and welcome to the newest iHealth lecture. Today is not just going to be any lecture. It's going to be an unboxing of the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. We'll be playing Star Wars Squadrons with it, and we'll have so much fun together. Let's get started. So, we've actually already reviewed this joystick, and this is the new box, and we already have one on our desk. So, um, we've been playing Star Wars Squadrons with this for a few weeks now. It's been a lot of fun. So, this is the unboxed version. Um, we still have two more, actually, that we um, are just going to unbox one today. So, here it is. Let's get started by looking at the box. So, we have this beautiful joystick, which we saw, actually, over on the desk. It's this precision flight stick because this is very good for flying simulators and spaceship simulators for Star Wars Squadrons. So let's talk about what's in the box. It's gonna have the joystick, the user documentation, and this comes with a three year limited warranty. So what you need is Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows Vista. And this is an actually old joystick because this is the only one that Logitech offers right now. Basically the only one on the market too. So it also works with Windows 10. And it comes with this Logitech profiler, which we'll talk about in a minute, that helps you customize your joystick. Perfect. Let's keep working on this. That's what you need for operating system. You need 70 megabytes of available hard disk space. And most people have 70 megabytes of hard disk space. That's way less than 0.1 gigabytes. So it's, it's very small. And you'll need a USB port because that's how this Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick connects to your computer. And you'll need internet connection for some optional software download. So let's get started on unboxing this. Let's just look at the front angle. You can see all of our controls, which we'll see in the Logitech profiler also. So it has a rapid fire trigger, which is really great for when you're in these Top Gun simulators, maybe you're in Star Wars Squadrons and you're playing as a invincible ship. It has an eight-way hat switch, which is really great for selecting POV. It has a very comfortable hand grip. It's best for righties, so there might be a left-hand joystick for you, but I'm a right-handed person, so this is, joystick is best for me. It has a comfortable hand grip. And right here, they don't really talk about it, is this two button, and that's really mainly used for selecting ships in Star Wars Squadrons and for going back in the menus. It has 12 programmable buttons. They already come programmed in Star Wars Squadrons, but you can change them up if you'd like. It has a, it's precision engineered, just best for you. It's stable, weighted base. So sometimes when you're using the joystick, it might come off the ground, but this joystick is weighted, so it's really great. And another thing is this throttle, so you can make your ship go faster or slower, depending on your needs. Okay, guys, enough wait. Let's get out our scissors and let's start unboxing. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can go on and on about how these are not professional unboxing scissors. We were actually going to use these really rounded scissors, but we luckily found these. They're anvil. They're really great at these sharp edges. So let's cut this box open. So we can just go in there. It's hard to hold the camera at the same time, so we're just going to try to stabilize it. I hope, as you know, it does not have a camera crew, so we cannot um, be shooting and doing something else at the same time. It's really hard to do that, so we're trying our best here. So we got the tape off. Perfect. Now let's see if we can make this flap go off. Just to let you know, this is a very hard product to unbox, so if you're having any trouble, just come here and we'll help you unbox it. So it looks like there's another piece of tape. Nope, that's the same one. Let's see how we can do this. Yep, there's a tab. Now we just got it out. Perfect. Okay, so let's see if we can open this up. Just to let you know, it's going to be really hard to get this thing out of the box. So just be ready for that. So we have all this beautiful packaging. You can already see our joystick with its hat switch. And you don't even have to speed up in the video to see our finished joystick right here. Back to the joystick that we're unboxing. 
so it's in this plastic cover just to keep it safe. It's probably been in here for like a few years now because Logitech, I'm not sure if it stopped making these. So, brand new under Amazon. They're all under $50, so they're really great. Here they are. Here it is. Perfect. We got our joystick. We got our joystick. And like it said, we have our user documentation and they put it in this timeless plastic packaging, which probably in a few years is going to be outlawed, right? <laughs> so we finished our box. It looks really funny right now as it's all folded out, but that's just the way the design of this box works. It's almost as a design element itself, but let's focus on what we're actually unboxing. So here's our joystick. Let's take it out of this plastic wrap. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I always love the smell of new tech products. Let's see if we can smell it. it. Smells fresh, clean out of the box. And our little USB cord has a plastic cover on it so it doesn't get any dirt inside it. We can just remove that. It's not very hard to remove. It's tied up in this wrap right here. I just said the cord wouldn't tie up while it's in the box. You can see there's engraved letters, Extreme 3D Pro. This is the throttle switch. You can go faster or slower. Here's our actual joystick. Let's use the right hand. And we can press all the buttons. I love the rapid fire trigger. We can see the hat switch to go back and forth and all these different buttons that are different for each game. It has this weighted base so it does not come off the ground. It's almost like gravity is pulling it down, which it is. Perfect. So then we can see our buttons right here that are programmable and in Star Wars Squadrons are already programmed for whatever needs. And this joystick just goes around just like that. Another controller is going side to side to flip your ship around. Really helpful. Okay, so let's unwrap this. Let's just get ready to play. And it actually says X3D because it's Extreme 3D Pro. We know Extreme is spelled with an E. Typo, Logitech, typo. And one cool thing if you're a Logitech fan is that this is an old Logitech symbol. There's a new Logitech symbol on their new accessories. So let's actually show you the comparison of this accessory with our mouse and keyboard that you might have seen from our gaming PC. So let's go right up. And let's fall over here. Here's our gaming PC right here. And we actually moved our Mac Mini so it's more convenient. We're about to set up a dual monitor setup, so that's going to be very exciting. We'll make a video about that soon. Be sure to check that out when it comes out. So here's our gaming mouse. It's not that much of a gaming mouse. It's just a regular mouse, but it's really nice to use. And it has that same silver Logitech symbol. Let's compare them. Exactly the same. That little, I don't even know what that is. Just meant for Logitech. And we have our keyboard, too. Our old keyboard that we use for our PC. A beautiful PC right there. And that same symbol. So this is on all these maybe 2013 and later or 2013 and earlier accessories have these and 2013 and later have new accessories. So we have our joystick and if you're playing Star Wars Squadrons, just please order a joystick. Do not play with a mouse. A mouse is really, really hard to play, play with. Okay, I know this looks funny, but Let's just put these two joysticks right next to each other. So we have two joysticks. Just know that this is not edited. This is just for the fun of it because my brother actually needs a joystick to play Star Wars Squadrons. He does not want to play with a mouse. So let's plug it into our PC right now and then we'll take a look at his PC. And something that's really special about his is that he has um, these really cool RAM, 16 gigabytes that's red. So that's been pretty cool to see. So it just plugs right in like that. Our other joystick is plugged in on the back. As you've seen in our PC video, we'll be sure to link that below in the description. We can't see that right now because it's a little bit dark. Let's move this out of the way. We have all of our USB ports and it's plugged in right there. And if you're a big fan of these menus, these manuals, let's unbox that now. So it's pretty easy to unbox. Just open that up. Actually, it's going to be a little bit hard because it has a sticker right here. I don't want to rip the sticker. I'm making a funny noise. Got it? Okay, we've got most of the sticker off. This is probably the hardest part of this whole thing to unbox. And the instructions, let's just see how 
fast it takes them to slip out. Perfect, That's that was pretty quick. Should measure that to the other joystick. Okay, so here's our main menu. Here are some regulatory information. Ah, they say it's important, but it's not. So you can recycle this. You may want to keep this quick start guide, but if you already know how to use a joystick, then you might not. So this joystick, this, just don't laugh at this menu. It's really, really funny. So you search up Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, and then you plug your joystick in. That's the end of the quick start guide. That, this is the shortest I've ever seen. I think even Apple puts enough effort into their quick start guides, but it's okay. So as we promised you, we're going to play Star Wars Squadrons. So let's log into our PC and let's get that game booted up. We have our PC booting up. See all those beautiful lights, the fans starting to turn, that status signal, and we'll power our monitor on. So here's our desk. It looks a little bit different because we're getting ready for a new 21.5 inch monitor coming very soon. Really excited for that. We have our AirPods charging. So our PC is booting up. Then we'll log in, we'll skip the login because we do not want to show any personal information there. This is really exciting. I'm so excited to play. And just by the way, we'll be playing with this joystick, not this one, even though this is the one that we unboxed. This one is already set up with the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro profiler. So we'll be using this one. You can actually unplug this one. So easy with USB. I'm actually going to show you really quickly what my brother's PC looks like. It actually is exactly the same, but just the memory is different and he has a little bit less storage. Ah! cords getting stuck under wheels quite annoying so here's his pc i'm not sure if you recognize any differences yet post it on our website if you do see any differences so here's just a black body you can see that okay here's inside of his pc it's not booted up right now but he's about to have school and you can very faintly make out those two ram Meanwhile, our PC is ready to be logged in. We actually have our Mac Mini keyboard on our desk. Let's swap those out. We do not need Mac Mini for gaming because as you know, Macs are not as good for gaming with their Intel graphics card. We have an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G with Radeon Vega graphics. I actually just figured out that it has a max boost up to four gigahertz, which just blew me away. I was really excited about that. So let's put the keyboard on our desk. Remember, if you've seen this in our past videos, we can stand this up so it's much easier to type on. We'll do fast login so we don't have to show any personal information. Okay, so we are logged in. Let's just get to our game. So we'll be playing with this joystick right here and we'll need to open the Logitech game profiler right here. So here is Logitech gaming software. It says profiler, so it's a little bit different than what it says never mind so when you press a button it's really cool so let's say we're pressing the trigger on here let's hold it down it actually recognizes that that was the trigger let's press the two button the back button it actually recognizes it really 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 cool okay so let's click play star wars squadrons let's just jump right into it so it will take a long time to log in so squ squadrons it's made by ea i don't know what this easy anti-cheat thing is you can see it right there um it has pictures of these really cool star wars characters my brother is a huge fan of star wars let's see and squadrons also has the option to be played in vr so if you're a vr gaming person then you can also play it, it there i personally like to play with the joystick it's really really cool just wait while it boots up. And this game, I think, was released in like the later half of 2020. I was really excited when it came out. Okay, so it's going to go into this full screen window so you can chat, bro broadcast, or browse the game. And then it has this boot up scene. Let's see. It's connecting. And then it has joystick control. So I actually disabled mouse function um, with just playing with the joystick. So let's actually flip this over here and let's move the joystick to right here perfect motive i don't even know what that is something with origin and that famous star wars movie thing lucasfilm 
Wow. I'm really excited to play this. So, yeah, it was made in 2020. Okay, so how are we going to navigate with this with our mouse disabled? It actually does work, but let's talk about how we can play it with the hat switch. So, here's our hat switch. We can just move right and left. So, let's use the hat switch to control it. We can just go right through there. So cool. And then to select something, we just have to press the trigger. So, let's actually go to multiplayer and training because I need some training on this. So, we'll just press the trigger to select it. And then we're in it. So let's go down to practice. We'll just press the click button, start practice, and then two is back. Let's just press the two button just for the kicks of it. And the two button, if you didn't know, is right there. So you can just press back, and then we can go back to multiplayer and training. Scroll down, and you can actually scroll down with the hat switch too, just like that. So practice, select. Let's get in. I think I'm gonna be the good guys. Oops, not the bad guys. Okay, let's start practice. And this is gonna be a very short game. We're not gonna be here for long because it's already been a long time for this video. So we have to choose our fighter. So let's choose that. So we can just click customize yours, ship selection, select for launch, launch in practice. So we can actually make use of those buttons. 12, deploying it in one second. Okay, let's get ready for takeoff. Well, this does, this game does require a lot of processing power. So don't be doing anything else. So, oh, it's ready. Okay, I'm flying. So. Actually, nothing's going to happen right now because I have not deployed the enemy squadron. So we'll just need to press the 11 button. And then we can scroll down to deploy enemy squadrons, squadron one. And now they're there. Oh, my God. We just need to scroll up just like that. We can just make those gentle movements just like that. And then to fire. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. So our objective is to destroy the fighters. Clearly, I'm not doing a good job with that. So we can move around just like that. Beautiful. And then to fire, we just, of course, press that trigger. And that is the basics of Star Wars Squadrons. It gives you targeting information, so how you can fire on your opponents. And it has progress bars. Lots of fun to play with. Wow. Okay, so let's actually quit this um so to quit we'll just need to press the escape button on our keyboard it will take us to this because it would be very cruel if they just kept us here so um we need to go to options so we can click options with our mouse because it seems like it's not working we can click main menu it will quit our game but it's just a practice session so it's okay and that is the basics of Star Wars Squadrons. Be sure to play that game, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a lot of fun to play with you today.